Hey everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So I am doing my makeup today. It is about an hour before I need to go pick up my son from school. And you know what? Technically the last two hours, my daughter has been sleeping and I should have just come up to do my makeup, but I was like, no, she'll wake up any second. She never woke up. I think it's actually been three hours she's sleep been sleeping and she never sleeps for three hours. This is the first time since she's been born. Um, usually she sleeps about 20 minutes to half hour and she takes probably 10 of those a day. So as you can imagine, it's very hard to do anything. So today I'm just so surprised. So anyway, so now that Chad's up, I'm going to quickly do my makeup before I have to leave the house and you guys are going to go on this journey with me. So I'll give you kind of the backstory, which is really quick. I've had my makeup sitting on my desk that I've kind of had this look planned for the last, I don't know, four days or so. And it's because I was going to get up early every single day at five o'clock. I had my alarm set and I ignored it. I turned it off and went back to sleep until six. So then I don't have time to do my makeup. But I remember the very first day of my son's school, I got up at five, did my makeup. And that was the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam look. So anyway, regardless of all that, we're going to do makeup. I'm going to use a, um, well, I cannot talk. I cannot think I cannot talk. I'm going to serum up my skin. Kind of sounds like a syrup. But I'm not really talking about the skin products because I don't have like full samples of, or well, they're samples. They're not full size products. And um, one thing that I've noticed, like obviously because of this whole pandemic, I've been washing my hands like 100,000 times a day. So my fingers are literally peeling and my lips are peeling. I feel like maybe now I'm not getting enough water or something because my skin on every single part of my body is disgusting and dry. Like my face, my lips, my hands, even my legs. And it could be the change in colder weather because last night we had a frost advisory. So here I am pulling off my cucumbers and then it turned out that it didn't hit here with frost. So, oh well, it's gonna get colder sooner or later. So I am gonna do a matte lip today because I didn't do it last time. So I'm gonna prep them with my Revlon Kiss Lip Balm and this is Tropical Coconut. I love this stuff. And I'm still going to put on my eye cream and all that jazz. So, okay, I know this video won't be posted for a while because it's probably actually won't be up until October um, because it's a fall look and, you know, I didn't really want to post tons of fall looks in September before fall even hit because I believe the autumnal, autumnal <laughs> equinox isn't until the 22nd this month. So anyway, um, but you guys should check it out anyway. So I actually just posted my iPad Pro unboxing video. It was kind of like... I was hemming and hawing about on like posting it because I was like, well, I don't want people to think that like, you know, oh, look at her. She's got like all this money to buy an iPad. Well, the thing is like I've been budgeting for a really long time, basically since my last iPad broke, <laughs> my son dropped it on me. It was about two and a half years ago. So in the back of my mind, I've had the savings and I'm like, okay, not that I need to explain why I got it but um a lot of people are getting it right now because of school and um I'm not going back to school even though sometimes I wish I could but it's just not possible because I have kids to worry about now and I am saving for their education <laughs> but I am going to be using it for drawing and possibly getting into digital planning so that's kind of like the thing for me right now and I've been using it, I love GoodNotes 5. I've been using it for everything, for planning my plan with me. <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? I was thinking about that this morning. I literally plan to plan, like, and I make lists within my plans. Like, how crazy is that? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna use my Tarte base tape. I haven't used this in a while. This is a primer. But anyway, so today, like I was missing school so much. So that's actually what I was doing while my daughter was sleeping. Kind of like unnecessary, but I was studying. So I pulled out some of my old atmospheric science textbooks just to kind of get back into the numbers again. 
because I studied atmospheric physics and I just miss learning. So um, I'm kind of one of those people <laughs> that needs to like learn something every day. Otherwise my existence on this world seems pointless besides for the raising of my kids. I mean, does that sound like ridiculous? But I go stir crazy. I get bored so quickly and um, just having like a mundane medial thing to do every day drives me nuts. So I need to do like something with myself, with my time. And that I think that's why I hated working for my previous company so much because basically, um, oh gross, these eyelashes are full of hair. How did that happen? They're like brand new eyelashes. Anyway, um, I just, I just get bored so quickly. And with my old job, it was like the same thing. And like, I can't, I'm, I'm not one of those people that can be happy with a job, with the same job over and over and over again. I need something to challenge me. I need things to think about. And um, so anyway, I decided to study my atmospheric science textbook and I was doing notes and good notes, which was so fun. You know, call me crazy. Okay, so before I continue talking, I'm going to use some foundation, my Too Faced Peach Perfect Natural Beige before it goes bad on me. I'm just going to put some on my hand, just like literally two pumps. I'm using my F79 Concealer Blend Kabuki. And I'm just going to stipple this all over my skin because I want like a really light layer. Ooh, I'm so excited for this look. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in forever. And I kind of feel like if you use this brush, you're not going to be doing your makeup fast because <laughs> it's so tiny. Like I know it's meant to be a concealer brush, but Angela Briggs had recommended it. So it's like, I need to try it out for a foundation brush. And it does work well for a foundation brush. It's just small. So if you're trying to do your makeup in a hurry, don't do it. Don't use this. But I guess I could have used my Tati Blendiful. I haven't really... Ooh, and not that I'm like into the drama or anything, but I really want to know what happened to Tati because she has not been posting. If you guys like watch her at all, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I kind of miss her videos. She was very enthusiastic about her stuff that she would post. And excited to see if she comes out with another palette because I like the style of her makeup. So I feel like I hardly did any makeup, but I just feel like it made my skin look better. I hardly put anything on at all. Anyway, I still got up at six today. So even me, despite being all chatty, I am tired. And no matter how hard I say, like I did go to bed before, oh no, I went to bed probably about 11.15 last night. So I did go to bed before midnight. Usually it's like midnight, one o'clock before I can like get off of all the social media. And usually I just read before bed, but it's usually the only time I can read. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I don't want to overdo it today. So next for concealer, I'm using my Beauty Blender Balance Concealer. This is Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer in 2.4 Medium Olive. It's still pretty bright. Ooh, do I want to use... No, I'm not even going to use the peach corrector. I'm just going to go straight in with this. And I'm contouring today, so let's do some highlight with the concealer. Do-do-do. I haven't done my makeup in forever and I've been wanting to so bad because literally I have no more videos to edit. They're all done. And oh, I'm so angry too because um, my computer, like I have a MacBook, it has 500 gigs of data, but I also run parallel so I can run Windows. And I guess I'm just going to have to delete it. The only reason I have it on there is to play Neverwinter Nights, the computer version because, well, Mac version, I guess. But yeah, computer version, because I do have the PS4 game and I don't like the controls for it. 
not that I get that much time to play games right now, but, and then back in the day, I also had EverQuest 2 on there. So I used to be a big EverQuest fan. Never a World of Warcraft fan. It was always EverQuest. And uh, that was pretty much the only reason I had my, um, like, Parallels and Windows 7. That was the one I was running. And it takes up a lot of room. But anyway, so like iMovie, it's kind of how it works. I'll give you guys some like lowdown on like the whole iMovie thing. So when you upload a movie, like a video or a movie into iMovie, it basically like it, I upload them. I have to upload from my phone because I, of course, I film on my phone to I put them on my desktop just in case something goes wrong with the iMovie itself because it's crashed a lot on me lately. And then I upload them into iMovie. So technically, it's almost like you're uploading them twice and you're using um, the same room for them times two. And so the last couple of videos I had, they were my large ones. So my new bullet journal setup and then my October bullet journal setup. And I, again, this video is going to be out like way after those are even posted. But the October one will be in a couple, like I think next week. And the new bullet journal setup is like going to be on Friday, which is two, two more days from now. So I will link that in this video if you guys want to check it out. But anyway, <laughs> so they were like four or five hours long footage. So it took up a lot of space on my hard drive. And um, so now I'm basically out of room. And then when, of course, your computer runs out of room, it doesn't process properly. So I've been struggling with that until I can get all of my movies um, edited and deleted, like uploaded onto YouTube and taken out of iMovie. I can't delete my iMovie library. So I've been struggling with the process of trying to edit and at the same time have space on my computer to even do the editing in the first place. So that's kind of been a thing. And normally I don't have issues. I have about 350 gigs of data on my computer. It's just, I upload, like I usually film like 10 videos. And then before I can actually finish editing them all and getting rid of them, instead of clearing out iMovie as I go, I just keep on uploading new movies. And then it just builds up, builds up. And I didn't think I'd have a problem, but I underestimated how much or uh, how much space those two large movies would take up. So I kind of ran into some trouble there. But anyway, so I'm almost done. I just have to do some voiceovers for those two videos or makeup video and then one of like the October setup and then I'm done. So that's cool. Oh, I didn't bring any powder, did I? Oh no, Laura Mercier, we're using this one today because I've been like fascinated with the Jeffree Star ones. So I tap off my brush, I have a little bit of powder on there, set underneath my eyes. I feel like I haven't worn makeup since Red Deer. Actually, I don't think I have. I'm just using a little bit today. All right, and I guess next I'll do eyebrows because um, they really need to get done. So as per usual, I'm going to skip through this step. I usually, I'll leave these linked down below, but you guys know the drill. I use them every single time in every single video. This is an E29 by Morphe. It's just a little spoolie to brush through my brows. And it seriously looks like I need to trim them. So maybe we'll do that quick before I actually... Um, do my brows. I can show you guys how I trim them if you want. I just brush them straight up and then I run, it's usually easier for me to do this one because I'm right-handed. I just cut straight across. Probably should have done this before I started my makeup but it's okay. And then you're left with clumps of hairs all over your face. Actually, I have this really large brush. I think I got this from Amazon. It's kind of almost like one of those hairdressing brushes where they like swipe the hair off the back of your neck. I usually use that for my eyebrows. 
because I was going to use it for powder until I started getting into brushes and realized it was way too big to be used as a powder brush. And look how hairy my eyebrow is. I don't remember where I got these scissors from either, but they're like the best scissors. This is another way that you can do it, is just hold the spoolie in place and then you can make your nice straight line. There. Now I've got eyebrow hairs everywhere. Ta-da! This is what not to do. All right, so that's done. So like I said, I'm going to quickly skip through this part and I'll show you my eyebrows when they're completed. All right, so eyebrows are done. So next I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to use my Too Faced Coco Contour Palette. I haven't used this in forever either. I love these palettes. I love anything by Too Faced. I know what people say. Too Faced were my first like high-end palettes and I love Too Faced. So I'm going to used medium contour today. It's like really gray toned and that gives you the best shadow. So I am using my large angle contour F40. I haven't done my makeup in so long I forgot the name of this brush. Pretty crazy. I miss doing full glam makeup too. That's what Emily Jean calls it. I think it's so darn cute when she says that. Full glam makeup. But yeah, I miss it because I used to have date night every week. And number one, I have... Actually, there are three reasons why we don't go on any date night. The first of all being because karaoke was our favorite. And karaoke is closed down until further notice. And the second reason is... Because we have a child, like a baby, brand new, brand new child. <laughs> oh dear. And of course, I don't feel comfortable leaving her overnight with anybody yet. And then the last reason is Chad works two weeks in a row. So I don't do anything for two weeks. We have gone kind of on a date day, but it was like out for drinks. <laughs> and here I say I never drink. Well, those were exceptions because I would have like, the, we'd go on a Monday usually. And I would have the $5 margaritas. Usually passion fruit was my favorite. Okay, I think that's good. I'm not using the proper brush for my nose, but I'm, I'm hurrying, but I'm not hurrying, if that makes sense, because I, if I talk a lot and I do my makeup like really fancy, I can take like two hours. So I need to be quicker than two hours because when I started, I only had like an hour. All right, so next is blush. So I'll be using my F10 and this beautiful Lunar Beauty Moon Prism palette love the packaging blushes are pretty i'm not a huge fan of like sparkly blushes so these ones are really nice and what else i'm going to do lashes today too just because i can so i'll use my fenty beauty um, amplifying eye primer or pro filter and it's called Invisa Pink. So I'll put some of that on there. You know, just slap it on anywhere old place you feel like it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my P84. I don't think I said this when I did my concealer, but yeah, precision angle P84. I love this brush for concealer and 
color corrector and primer so nice they have the p82 i believe but it's like a rounded brush this one's really nice the ankled one because it can really get into everywhere so we're just going to put that basically everywhere all over the eye sometimes i like to smudge it underneath the eye as well because then if i put shadow there which i usually do I hope that it, you know, has a good effect underneath the eye. I feel like I'm in a crazy mood right now. So I was going to use black. Oh, do I want to use black eyeliner? I have this everlasting one by Morphe. I think I'm going to do some black too. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, I have this pretty one too. Lord and Berry. So anyway, I'm doing a green eye look. I had to break out. Oh, let me get this pencil out first and then I will have my concentration back up and running here. Oh, I'm running out of black eyeliners. Okay, so I'm going to use this Avon Blackest Night waterproof eyeliner and just put it on my water rim here. So yeah, I'm running out of black eyeliners. I used to get them from Avon and I no longer sell Avon, so. But I'm doing a green look. So I was trying to find palettes that I could do a nice fall green look. And I ended up only finding ones I liked in the Morphe Jaclyn Hill The Vault, which, you know, everybody kind of forgot about The Vault. Nobody uses it anymore. I was actually going to give it away until I started looking there, and I just, I really love the colors. Like, I know it's not as good as her, like, first palette with Morphe, but I really like the colors. And there's one color in one of the palettes in particular that's, like, this perfect kind of purpley, was it not maroon, but, like, kind of maroon. It was so pretty, and I just couldn't, couldn't get rid of it because I like it that much. So I'm going to go ahead and do the highlight on my face too. I'm using my Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette and I'm going to use the Spotlight highlight which is this warmer one here. Usually I use this but I might use this for my inner corner highlight. So let's use my High Cheekbone Highlighter F03. I don't love this one but I'll use it for now. This is going to give me a little bit of a warmer glow because I don't need a, like a bright blinding white color right now. It's like mid-afternoon. Sometimes it's pretty just for a nice delicate glow. I feel like I'm in a crazy mood right now. Okay, so getting into the shadow. So I've got two palettes here. I've got the... Wow. They're on the back dark magic and armed and gorgeous so this is armed and gorgeous and the color i was looking at was of course top secret this one here and i don't know if i want like every single color green because it won't really give it any dimension so then i pulled out this one this is dark magic so i've got potion which is like so pretty kind of like puke green you know inside job which is really dark and then trickery which is a little bit of sparkle but I was thinking of using shh and poof to do some blending. So I'm going to go crazy and I'm just going to start in the crease with Potion. And I'm going to use this one that has like this dark color on it already. This is an E25. So we're going to go into Potion. It'll match my shirt. I usually never start in the crease with the color. I've said this before. And I'm just going to stamp it right in there. And make a big old mess all over my eye. Okay, so <laughs> this eye primer is like really sticky. I feel like my brush is sticking to my eye. So I'm really defining my eye here. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing my makeup like as a joke right now. It's really funny. 
but I want like a dark look. So we're going to go darker. And just for the hell of it, I also have my Conspiracy palette by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. And I'll show you the colors I was thinking of using. So there is Illumina ooh, Illuminati and Conspiracy, of course. So there's Illuminati and there's Conspiracy. Conspiracy is more gold green. So I don't know if I'll use it. But I'm just going to play with some colors and see what I can uh, kind of arrange here on my eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely in a weird mood right now. It's probably lack of sleep. I apologize, you guys, if this video is like crazy because I feel a little crazy right now. So I'm, I haven't even blended this out. Like, this is how nuts I am right now. I'm going to go in with poof and shh, but mostly poof. <laughs> and I'm blending the top portion of this green color. So I will go back in with that first blush. Blush, wow. <laughs> wow, serious problems today. Um, I'm going to go back in with that color in a minute. But I'm taking poof mostly just to blend out the edges so I don't go too, too crazy. You guys know that I like blending out my lower lash line a lot. So I may do some really dark green down there. So I'll go back in with that brush. Just kind of felt like it wasn't blending that nice. But yeah, to me, fall is like usually red, orange colors. Honestly, you guys, and brown. But I've seen so much of that lately. I'm just like the last... How many palettes in the last like couple of years have always been like these warm tones and everyone's like warm red tones, warm red tones. And I'm just sick of it. Like, I think that's why I kept this palette, like Jaclyn Hill, like each of these four little quad palettes have like, not quad palettes, but like, you know what I mean? Like there's four of them. Um, they basically have something new to offer and they each have a color story. So I love this. It's dark magic. It's got like all these pretty dark colors in there. I think I'm going to start using this, like all of these palettes more often because uh, I can't believe I was just going to like give it away. I really like that. That's like nice and dark. Ooh, I've just been like wanting to get like a nice and dark look. So before I go any further, I want to highlight the inner corner, but... I'm afraid that I'm going to mess something up here. Okay, I'm going to go in with Trickery, which is kind of a sparkly color. Normally I don't use, or I could use Inside Job to darken it up on the outside corner here. It might be really dark. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's like a navy blue. I didn't even know that. But you know what, you guys? That looks perfect. Because, like I was saying, I want some dimension in there. Something different than just green. And we'll go back in. We're going to use some Top Secret to kind of blend it. We'll go back in with the other brush to kind of work it in a little bit. I am getting some fallout, but to be fair, I never really tapped off my brush either. I want it to be pretty dark, pretty sharp, and with lashes, it's going to look really good, I think. So, Fallout. I'm going to take this like really long brush. This is the Spotlight Duster F37. Just wipe it away. And I'm going to take my finger, and I'm going to use the Conspiracy Color right on the inner portion. I hate using my fingers for these because and then it gets all over my fingers and then I go to use it for something else and then it gets like all over that. But it's like, come on guys, we're not finger painting. We have nice brushes. Use them.
and it's really, really bright. So I'm just going to go over it with my E25 and kind of blend in the colors a bit. Looks pretty nice. All right, we need a smaller brush now. I'm going to use an E27. I'm going to go in with Illuminati for this one. And definitely tap off the brush. That is so dark. It looks like someone gave me a black eye. Okay. All right. We're going to fix this. I'm using yet another E27. And I'm going to use, do, 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 do. We're going to use poof to try to kind of tone it down a little bit. Blend it out. Doesn't look so crazy. All right, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to use, I need a small brush now. So I'm gonna use my E21 smudge brush. We're gonna spray it with a bit of Mac Fix Plus. And I'm gonna use Conspiracy once again, dip that brush right in there, and then put this in the middle of the lower lash line. Kind of give it this like green sparkle underneath where you would not expect it. And while we're at it, we're going to line the lips. And um, I'm also going to take my E, oops, my L04 lip brush. Or oh, maybe I lied. Let's use a pencil brush. This is an E30. I'm going to go into my highlighter palette, the same one I used for my cheeks, and just apply this to the inner corner. This is the brightest color, though. The color is called Daylight. I always like to put a brighter inner color on the corner, a tad under the brow. Oh, that's bright. Let's tone it down a bit. Good. And I think what I need instead on that lower lash line is a bit of gold. So I'm going to go back into the palette Armed and Gorgeous and dip into Coin, which is almost like a coppery color. And just put that on the lower lash line. And then we're ready for some liner. So I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I was going to line my lips, but I guess I lied. We'll do this first and then we'll go into lip liner. So I'm not doing a thick line. I'm just doing something dark enough to make my upper lashes look thicker as well as kind of hide the lash band when I put on some lashes.
Okay, lips. So I have two pencils in front of me. I'm going to line this first with Bite Me, which is the darker browner color. These are the Morphe color pencil, by the way. I'm going to fill in my lip with the next one, which is Love Bite. And I'm going to fill in my lips and just kind of blend it in with my finger. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Pure Hollywood, and it's like really nude. I'll just go back in with that pencil and line my lips again. And then we're going to do mascara. So for this part, I'm just going to skip through it and we'll come back after lashes are applied. Okay, guys, mascara and lashes are done. I did use the style um, Morphe, and I think they're the uh, Malibu lashes. I think they're just like the $4 lashes or something. But I think I always like to wear lashes when it's like a full glam look and uh, really dark and just really fall looking. So I think, um, honestly, I think I'm going to be playing with more dark looks late, like in the next upcoming makeup looks because... I just, I'm so sick and tired of like the red and the, the orange and the warm toned. Um, and mind you, I have done a lot of neutral looks in the last few makeup looks, I guess. So we're going to do some more looks like this and kind of have them look more mysterious, more dark. And uh, I think it's going to be a nice change, especially for fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love if you subscribed. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for joining if you did. And last but not least, click on that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We'll talk to you guys again very, very soon. Take care.